All right, for the 365 Days Project video podcast, I'm here again to uh, teach a little bit about uh, about photography basics. Some of you um, have written in and said that you're not exactly using uh, SLR cameras, so I thought at least I'd teach uh, a few basics that might also work on some point and shoots um, that you could translate over into your SLRs whenever uh, whenever you finally you know when you move up. So um, anyway, we're here with our model. This is a self-proclaimed, self-proclaimed sexiest man I've ever worked with, and That's I guess, right. yeah, you wanna, yeah, sexiest man, self-proclaimed. <laughs> that that would be me. He's also one of our production assistants. He's uh, filmed a few of our uh, our tutorials. This is Nick St. Julian. Um, so what we're going to do, um, I'm going to teach you, there's um, several ways to control exposure, and the one I'm going to teach you today is through aperture. Um, now, aperture is the iris uh, that allows light to come in. Um, it can be small or it can be wide open. Um, now, the bigger the number, the smaller the iris is, and the smaller the number, the bigger the iris is. I'm going to teach you the difference between two of them. Um, today we're going to shoot on aperture priority mode. Some, sometimes it's marked on your camera as AV. That'll, that controls the, uh, the aperture and allows the camera to, uh, to auto expose using the shutter. So uh, what we're going to do, um, Nick is just going to lean against this post right here. And I'm going to back up. All right, Nick. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to shoot at a higher aperture right now. Um, I'm going to shoot at uh, f9. Uh, All right. Now, if we'll look at the picture here on screen, you'll notice that, uh, that a lot of it's in focus. You'll see the background of him in, is in focus, and you see he, that he is in focus. Him more than the background, but you can still see that it's pretty um, sharp throughout. This is what's called depth of field. Um, depth of field is the amount of acceptable uh, sharpness um, within a given range. So between here and the background, uh, we had a what's called a wide depth of field. Now uh, that happens whenever you have a, uh, a small aperture. Now we're going to open it up to about f 2.0. All right. Here we go, Nick. All right. Now, if we uh, look on the screen here, you'll see that um, that Nick's uh, Nick is in focus, but the background is now more out of focus. That is because we have a shallower depth of field. And again, uh, this is also known as bokeh. I don't. I think I'm saying that properly. I've never actually heard anybody say it, but it's spelled B-O-K-E-H. Um, but uh, this is the uh, the blurred look that you see back here in the background of the photo. So that's one way to control exposure. And this is a, the first part in a series. Um, in later tutorials, uh, we'll also go over um, uh, shutter speed and ISO and um, and how to control those as well. So for the 365 Days Project Video Podcast, my name is Steven. I'll see you next week.